Welcome to Parts Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to get started, how to integrate your management system, and how to search and order parts. To get started, you'll need to create a Parts Tech account. To create a Parts Tech account, navigate to partstech.com and click the orange Sign Up Free button. Signing up takes about five minutes and will ask you some basic questions about your shop and who you buy from. Once you've created your account and configured your suppliers, you'll need to integrate your shop management system. Getting integrated is easy. Navigate to the top left-hand corner where it says Profile and API Key. Here you'll find the credentials you'll need to log into your Parts Tech account through your shop management system and get integrated. You can click to copy this info and you can paste it into your shop management system. For more information about connecting your shop management system, check out our knowledge base or reach out to your shop management system representative directly. For most searches, you'll need to enter a vehicle. Entering a vehicle is easy, and in most cases, if you're integrated, your vehicle will already be pulled in from your shop management system. To confirm that, you'll see the vehicle pulled up beside the search bar at the top of the screen. To see VIN details, simply click on the link next to where it says VIN, and you'll see more information about the vehicle. To close a window like this on Parts Tech, look for the X and click it to go back to the main screen. If you need to enter a vehicle manually, simply click on Select Vehicle, and you have a couple different options to enter that vehicle. You can either select Year, Make, Model. You can enter the vehicle by keyword. Let's say we're looking for a 2005 Ford F-150. And you can select it from the list of dropdowns. You could search by plate by entering the state and then the plate number. Or you could search by VIN. There are some situations where you can find a product without entering a vehicle. Let's say, for example, you were searching by part number, or you were searching for a non-applicated product like engine oil. There are a couple of different ways to run a search on Parts Tech. The quickest and most accurate way is by running what's called a part type search. To do so, simply type in the first few letters of what you're looking for and select the part type from the dropdown. To see what your suppliers have in stock, simply click through on the name of the supplier at the top of the screen. And if you have more than five, you can click the arrow to switch over to your next five suppliers. Or you can click the arrow to return to your last five suppliers. Partsig will always show you your first call first, and you can change the order of which your suppliers appear in the My Shop section of your Partsig account. Another way to run a search on Partsig is by entering a keyword. You can do that simply by entering a keyword and then hitting the orange search button to run a broader keyword search. This type of search will pull in multiple part types, and you can use the filters on the left to narrow the search down. To search by part number, simply type the part number into the search box and run the search. Now, Partstack will display every part that matches that part number, as well as any suggested interchanges. And from there, you could use the filters on the left to narrow down your results. You can tab through and see what each of your suppliers has in stock for that part number, as well as available interchanges, and place the order. Another way to search for parts is by running what's called a category search. Category searches are unique because you can pull in multiple part types into one search. To run a category search, click into the search bar and tab over to categories. Here you can drill through each section to find what you're looking for. You can go back to a section by clicking on the breadcrumb trail, or you could search to find what you need. Let's say we need pads and rotors for this vehicle. And in this case, using a category search, we can select the pad set and the disc brake rotors. You'll see the list of parts you've selected appear here. If you want to remove one of those products, you can click the X. When you're ready to run this search, click on the orange search bar to run that category search. To search for non-applicated parts like engine oils, fluids, and hose clamps, click in the parts search and type in a part type that is often non-applicated. So in this case, I'm going to search for engine oil. And here, you'll see a drop-down asking us to select viscosity. So I can type in 5W and then select 30. And now Parts Tech will show you all of the viscosities that match that rating from all of your different suppliers. And you'll note that you do not need to have a vehicle entered to search for non-applicated products. 
To quickly pull up a recent search on Parts Tech, click on the History button to see your recent searches. And here you can scroll through and see the last couple searches placed on your account. And you can rerun that search by clicking on the search and it'll pull up that same search of the same vehicle. And again, you can tab through and find what you need. Now that we know the different ways to search, let's run through an example. I've got an 08 BMW 3 Series in here and I'm looking for front pads for this vehicle. To do that, I'm going to run a part type search. So I'm going to type the first few letters of what I'm looking for and then select disc brake pad set from the drop down. I can tab through and see what each of my suppliers has in stock. And what I'm looking for is these availability indicators. When the indicator is green, that tells me that that product is available in my primary location. When it's yellow, it means that that product is being sourced from another store up the chain. There may be additional time involved. And when it's red, I know that I can't order that product right now because it's either out of stock or special order. To add filters and filter these results, all I need to do is take one click. So let's say I'm looking for front pads. Now all of my suppliers are showing only front pads for that vehicle. And I like these Brembos, so I'm going to add them to the cart. Parts Tech is checking availability one last time, and then I have those in my cart ready to go. If I need to search for rotors, I can go back into the dropdown and click the X to clear it out, type in rotor, select disc brake rotor from the dropdown to run another specific part type search. Again, I can filter by front, click through, and see the filter results through all my suppliers. And I can grab parts from multiple suppliers. So let's say I like these centric rotors. Parts Tech will auto-populate the quantity per vehicle here. So I need two for the front, and that's great. I'm going to add that to the cart. And you'll see Parts Tech splits out the cart by product. To change shipping information or to see more details, I can click to expand the cart by using the carrot icon down here. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see that we can expand this. I could change delivery method if that's available. I can enter a supplier note. I could remove those parts either by clicking on the remove these parts icon in the expanded cart or by clicking on the red trash can in the smart cart. And I can close to collapse that window and return to the results here. If I wanted to see details on any of these parts, I could click on the part name and see more images, any available product information, and I can click the X to close that window. I could do the same thing from the cart by clicking on a product. I can see more info, zoomed in pictures, any available interchanges, and again, click on the X to close the modal. Once I have both the products in my cart, if I'm integrated, I'll see a submit quote button where I can submit that quote back into my management system for customer approval. Or if I wanted to place those orders right now, I can click buy now, which would transmit this order to AutoZone and Parts Authority respectively. To search for tires, I'm going to click on where it says parts in the search bar and select tires. And now Parts Tech is smart enough to show me that with this vehicle, these are the tire sizes that fit that vehicle from the factory. So I'm going to select this one. Now Parts Tech is running a search across all of my configured tire suppliers to show me what's in stock for my vehicle. I can tab through, I can find what I need, and I can see here that Parts Tech has preloaded the quantity per vehicle. If I just needed two, per se, I could change that here, add to cart. And again, if I needed to change the quantity, I could do that in the cart as well. I could expand the cart with the carrot, close it the same way. I could add a PO number for my reference. I could filter by brand, and I could remove filters again with one click or I can hit buy now to place those orders across all of my suppliers. If I needed to switch back to parts, again, I just go to the top search bar and I switch over to parts and I can search for a different part type from there. One of the features unique to our tires ordering feature is the ability to quickly create branded good, better, best quotes. So I've got my vehicle pulled in here and I'm seeing the list of tires from the factory for that vehicle. So let's click on this one. And now you can see my tire suppliers have loaded in. Since I have retail pricing set up in the My Shop section, 
I see the customer price for that tire and I can toggle that using this only show retail price toggle here. Switching it back for my cost for that tire. And one of our new features is this compare button. So let me select three tires here. I can grab three tires across any of my vendors and they'll appear down here in this good, better, best view. If I wanted to, I could rearrange this. I could change the quantity to say two tires and I can switch over to the customer view. Here you'd see your shop logo, as well as the retail pricing and any associated fees for that tire. So you could print this out or text this to the customer and they'd have a mobile friendly view with the out the door cost and tire information for that job. Again, you could edit the fees here. Let's say they chose not to do the alignment. You could turn that off. If they opted out of tire protection, you could turn that off as well. Click on Done and see the updated prices there. You can print this out or text the link to your customer's phones. To get back to the search results screen, click on the Back button, and you're here at the results. To clear out a recent Good, Better, Best comparison, just click on the X or hit Clear All. Now let's take a moment to walk through the left menu. You can expand the left menu by clicking on the Expand Menu button at the top left-hand corner of the screen. Here you'll see more details about what each option does. The first option will say your username. You can click on this to see your username, what email is connected with your account, your phone number. You can check or uncheck the receive order emails toggle. You can copy and paste your username and API key to connect your management system and get integrated. Or you can close this window by clicking on the X. The next option on the list is stock orders. Here's where you can place stock orders by part number across your different suppliers. You can enter a part number here and search to see stock order quantity for that product. Next up is the orders tab. Here's where you'll see all of the orders placed on your parts tech account across all of your suppliers. If your parts tech account is subscribed to one of our packages with multiple users, check your configuration to see if you're seeing all users or just your account. You can search and filter, or you can reset the filters by clicking the reset button. You can click the toggle to expand these windows and see more details about that purchase, or you can click to close it. After that is the My Shop section. The My Shop section is where you'll access all of the settings connected to your account. When you open up the My Shop section, you'll land on the Details page. Here you can add a shop logo, or change any of your shop info, or your shop address. And after you've made any adjustments here, remember to click Save Changes to apply those changes to your account. To tab through the options on the top here, you can click on the tabs, so I'm going to jump over to Shipping. Here's where you can set your pickup radius and click Save Changes, and you can add any default shipping addresses. After that is the Parts Suppliers menu. Here's where you can add and manage your parts suppliers on Parts Tech. To add a supplier, click on the Add Parts Supplier button, and we'll show you a map of suppliers in your area, or you can search for a supplier by name. So say I'm looking for Napa. I can pull up all the Napa locations and then drill into my local area to find my primary location. Once you've found the supplier you're looking for, you can add them by clicking on the plus button. We'll show you what you'll need to set up that supplier and give you the option to select your location or view more instructions. Once you've entered your credentials, click submit to add that to your account. And now PartsTech will work with your supplier to get you connected so you can see wholesale pricing and inventory. Please note, this may take a couple days, and you'll see a status icon above the supplier on the left. So in here, you can see that this AutoZone account was not approved because those are incorrect credentials. You may also see processing or pending approval, and that often means that the supplier is reviewing it on their end, and you should get an update in a couple days. Please, in that time, do not delete and re-add the supplier. And if it's been several days and you're not sure what the status is, you can reach out to our support team, and we can take a look at it. Once your supplier is active and ready to see inventory, you'll see a green approved icon above that supplier's name. And if you need to, you can edit your credentials by clicking on the pencil icon and changing your credentials. Remember to hit save changes to save those changes. If you want to delete a supplier, you can click on the X. If you want to rearrange your suppliers, you can click and drag to move your suppliers in the order you choose. That way you can always set your first call to appear first. Once you're done adding suppliers, you can hit the Done button at the bottom of the screen or find the X 
to navigate back to the parts supplier section. And from here, you have many of the similar options you had in that last page. You can drag and drop to rearrange your suppliers. You can edit your credentials, or you can add a new supplier with either of these buttons. Similarly, your tire suppliers section will give you the options to rearrange how your suppliers appear, or you can look into some of our packages that allow for tire ordering. Next up is the Payments tab. Here's where you'll see your current credit card information, or you'll be able to add, modify, or remove any credit cards associated to your account. The Rewards tab is where you'll see any loyalty programs integrated into Parts Tech, and you can choose to participate, or you can connect your current account. The My Subscriptions tab is where you can check out Parts Tech's paid options, modify billing information, or start the cancellation process. Here's where you can also click to learn more about our paid plans or to explore any additional add-ons. Next up on the left menu is the Users tab. Here's where you can add, manage, and edit any users associated with your account. Certain Parts Tech plans allow for more users, so you can check that out in the My Subscriptions tab of your Parts Tech My Shop section. To add a new user, you can click this Add New User button and then enter a valid email and we'll send an invite to your account. Lastly on the left menu is the Log Out button. That'll log you out of your Parts Tech account and return you to the login screen. If at any point you get stuck or you need help, navigate to the top right hand corner of the screen and click on our Help Center by clicking on the question mark button. Here you can search for help on our knowledge base. You can walk through some quick tips on setting up your shop management system and getting integrated. You could join our Parts Tech user group on Facebook, or at any time, please feel free to reach out to our support team. You can submit a ticket right here, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Parts Tech demo. We hope that helped you get up to speed. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Parts Tech rep or dial in our support team. You can reach support by emailing support at partstech.com or by phone at 866-308-5193 and then extension 1.